This is the Olympus Pen F, and it's an amazing camera for its one main feature, which is that it shoots 72 photos per roll of film as opposed to 36 like a normal 35 millimeter camera would. I borrowed this camera from a buddy, Sammy, and I was pleasantly surprised by how much fun it was to shoot with and how the photos turned out. So I wanted to make a YouTube video about it, kind of show you the camera, show you its features, and then of course we're gonna go out with it and take some photos at the end of this video. So how exactly does this camera get 72 photos on a single roll of film? It does this by using a format called half frame. And what that means is that in the amount of space that a normal camera would print one image, this camera fits two. And there are some drawbacks and advantages to that in the same way that you get when comparing any film formats. Having two photos where you would normally have one means that you get less resolution out of this camera. It means that you get more grain in each image, but it also means that you get double the amount of photos, which is pretty cool, especially today when film is getting so much more expensive. Maybe if you're somebody who's just casually shooting and you don't need amazing resolution out of your images, getting more photos on a single roll might be a nice trade-off. It's a really fun camera to shoot with, and today I wanted to do a little bit of a mini review on it, kind of just show it to you, and of course we're gonna make some photos with it. But I'm gonna start off by giving you a closer look at this camera, a little bit of a tour around it because it's super beautiful, and it's got some really funny features that I wanna show you. So let's take a closer look at this Olympus Pen F. I think what kind of shocked me most about this camera when I first picked it up was that just based off the design, I expected this to be a rangefinder style camera. It kind of has that look to it. But then when you look a little closer, you realize there's no rangefinder window anywhere at the front. And the thing that shocked me most about this camera is that it's actually an SLR, which means that what you're seeing through the viewfinder here is what the camera is actually seeing through the lens. And this is my preference when it comes to choosing a camera because what it means is that what you're seeing through the viewfinder is gonna be almost exactly what is printed on the actual film. And it means you can get really precise with your compositions. Let's go around the camera itself a little more though. On the front here, this is where you actually dial in your shutter speed. Honestly, Weird placement, but strangely convenient. Another thing I just really love about this camera is the shutter sound. It just sounds so mechanical and it's really rewarding to take a photo with this. I love that. Another weird feature is that to advance this film, you actually have to wind twice for one frame, which is funny because it's really not moving a whole lot of film with it being half frame but you get used to it very quick and it really makes the camera experience, in my opinion. You do get a tripod mount, which is funny to imagine sort of using this camera for like long exposure landscapes or something on a tripod when it's a half frame, but it's there if you wanna use it. I like that. And that's kind of it. You can actually attach a flash to this with a PC sync cord, but there is no hot shoe. That's the camera though, it feels great, the build quality is nice. Let's load this up with some film and go take some photos. Shooting with this camera is really fun. Uh, it's super mechanical feeling. There's so much mechanical feedback when you press that shutter, 
when you wind the camera, when you focus it. And that really does make for a nice experience taking photos with it. One thing that's really fun about this camera is as you're shooting it, trying to guess which photos are gonna be paired together. And maybe there is some kind of trick to knowing what images are gonna come out on a single scan. But for me, there was a really fun element of surprise to this. And I got some interesting pairings that I didn't expect, but really enjoyed when I was scanning these images. me by surprise as I was shooting with this camera is how long it takes to go through 72 frames. That really is a lot of images and I think I spent about three days just shooting this one roll of film. So it definitely does save you film. It's definitely more economical and if you like the look of the images then I don't see why not shoot with a pen F especially if it's some more casual photos and you're just not trying to go through a lot of film. is actually quite expensive already and I think that's because there's sort of a quirky nature to the fact that it's half frame and a lot of people like collecting that kind of thing. That being said if you do pick one up I think it's a great camera to carry around daily because it's so small you get 72 photos per roll and it's just a great camera for shooting day-to-day -day stuff and photos of your friends for exactly those reasons. Mount Tam looks so good tonight. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised with my images. I enjoyed leaving some of them as diptychs and some of them just cropping them to single frames. The colors were really nice and saturated because the amount of film that you're shooting on is so small. So generally the colors come out more saturated. Yeah, really like the look of that. I think they're very fun, they're very playful. I don't think I'll be shooting any serious projects on this anytime soon, but it was just so much fun to take out for a test roll. So thank you, Sammy. Before I wrap it up though, I do wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for so many years now and they've made it so easy to get a website up and running with my photography. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14-day free trial of Squarespace and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. I'll see you guys next week with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.